but I have not seen these two play together, especially with Jules Wolf. This is new. Yeah. So this will be interesting to see. I mean, uh, Jewel has been uh, he's going Wolf, like you said. Uh, it's a very unique character. I 100% I expected him to go Robin instead. Mm -hmm. he's, been, he's been going Robin in Smash 4. Yes, so my understanding is that he picked up uh, Wolf for Robin's back matchups. I haven't gotten his opinion on where exactly he feels Robin lies. Um, obviously been doing very well with the character regardless of tier. But uh, I do agree with the choice of picking up a secondary. I mm. think secondaries are probably the way to go. In a game with 75 category. characters, man, like... It's it's real hard to have, like, an even matchup spread against everybody. Like, three characters maybe have that much. You know, it's always a sick setup, but everybody see uh, Palo Tina just catch that up smash on the ledge. Because it, it covers so much vertical distance. Might as well just, like, catch that wolf waiting up there, you know? Mm -hmm. Actually, um... I'm interested at how this would normally play out because I feel like this still isn't necessarily the best counter pick uh, against Palutena. Like, I feel like Robin can still maybe run it okay, probably because of Palutena's movement speed because Robin kind of wants to have the ability to set up a little. Right. Uh, he is a projectile user after all. Mm -hmm. And Wolf, of course, has uh, Blaster, arguably one of the better, if not the, one of the best uh, projectiles in the game. Very good and... It still allows him to play at range, but not as much of a set of potential. I there. mean, when you got a projectile that's also a sword, like, I mean, come, <laughs> I mean, come on, like, yeah, I, I like that uh, little projectile there from Palutena. You just go use the auto reticle to get wolf pressure off of him so you get back to the stage. Mm -hmm. Ray's pretty, playing pretty solidly so far this set, but, you know, you never know the entire story off the first stock alone, so no. things can change in a second. Absolutely, especially with someone with such kill power like Wolf has, and... You know, there's the usual suspects, the, hey, I'm going to uh, ledge pressure you, I'm going to hit you with that back air, I'm going to get you with, you know, let me hit an F smash here, but then there's some stuff like, oh, I'm going to edge guard, and then I'm going to hit with the up B, the side B, things like that. Wolf is a very scary game of, I really hope I have my spacing, I really hope he's not going to hit me with what I think he is going to hit me with. Well, he got, just, just got hit by the back air, so that, all that hope is lost, man, because he's sitting at three stocks to one Ray. Starting to play super patient here. You notice him kind of chilling the ledge, but going to be able to connect that back air to get that first stock away from Utopian Ray. He was under 100 and across the stage. And Wolf kicks go. hard, dog. Goodness gracious. Got them high knockbacks. What kind of leg workouts is this? Well, he's not a man. I don't know. Though, I, okay, well, the thing is, like, they, they cut off their legs, the Star Fox characters, because that's how they can do the G diffuse in the Star Fox. It's like the manual. They ro have robot legs. I thought that was uh, retconned in the new game. I don't know. No, I'm I just, not sure. In the Super Nintendo version, <laughs> that's that's the truth. So they, I'm going to go with it. I'm, yeah. ro I'm rolling with it, man. I, I, think, I honestly think that's a way better uh, setup for a backstory. That is unfortunate. He's going to have a really hard time coming back from that. Oh, he kept his jump. Yeah, Yo. smart stuff. I mean, that, that, honestly, that's the number one thing in this game I'm noticing a lot of players do is just concern... Because it's so much easier to get edge guards in this compared to the prior pass game. Like you need to hold on to that double jump in order to get back to stage safe and sound. Especially oh. with the recovery, like Wolf, who desperately needs it, he just fell to his death right there. Absolutely. See, what was interesting to me is when I saw him get hit by the explosive flame. I hadn't been keeping enough track of him, so I thought, "Wow, that nearly killed there." He probably didn't have his jump, otherwise he would have jumped over that. But that's partially what Palutena wants in that scenario, where it's like, "Okay, you're gonna try to air dodge through and probably not get it." Most people don't. Or you're going to jump over this, and I can try to snipe you with up air. You don't have a jump, so I can juggle you, etc. So the fact that he took that um, and wasn't just trying to go for an air dodge, because some people do, it may have been a very intelligent decision mm -hmm. to keep the jump. So, okay, here we go. We got the stage bans on deck here. Lockdown. Final Destination and Unova have been banned by Utopian Ray. We got Jewel coming with the counter pick. It looks like he's eyeing Yoshi's Island Brawl. Do you think he might switch to Robin? Um... I think there's a solid chance on it if he's not feeling Wolf. His Wolf is still pretty new. I don't know if it's even as old as a month, but it's... I don't know. I feel he has a good handle on the character, but maybe he was just feeling out the matchup. Mm. There are quite a few Palutenas, and they do play a bit differently each one, so he'll give Robin a try on this one and see how it works out. Using game one as an experiment, man. You know, sometimes that works out. Now, so we're going to Kalos Pokemon League. Uh, you know, really good stage for Palutena. It's a big open stage. He's able to carry the new Denair trains for a very long time. Mm. Also have those platforms on the edge to help with the recovery immensely because of the teleport cancels. Mm -hmm. Platforms Absolutely. in the prime position. So this is uh, an interesting call as well for uh, Jules' counter pick because if Ray wants to recover to the stage with uh, Warp, he's got a much more limited selection of places he can go. Um, not as much of a place to duck away under the stage, which makes it easier for him to get uh, Elwyn spikes. 
things of that nature. And then the counterpick bans uh, Unova. For those who don't know, teleports do not work right on the stage. They get sent out, so that's yeah. an obvious ban. And then uh, it was FD, yeah? Yes. So I assume, yeah, that's another one. He does not want to get caught landing from uh, uh, warp. Yeah, I I, to call it I, this is what I was talking about in the beginning, right? They saw how many Nairs just connected. That was four neutral airs in a row trying to go for a fifth. Mm -hmm. Down tilt setting him up. Jewel just looks like he's struggling to find some sort of like even ground. Absolutely. Trying to put his feet like planted on the ground. Especially when Palutena gets the opportunity when she's a stock up or even just a high enough percent oh, up that no. she can play defensive. And uh, he's at jumps. Yep. All right. Still out of jumps, Ray's gonna try to capitalize. That's why he opted to go for the fast fall to get back down on that platform, safe as can be. Turns it around at that. That was impressive to get back there. No up Bs left, no jumps left. Still manages to make it back. Gets 41% off that up air strike. Keeping the sword. Jewel, a master juggler. Man, looks like he went to clown school the way he bounces that sword around. Gotta catch out, because that's high um, percent off that thing. That man, thing kills. My man's trying to play some b-ball, but you got that kill with Utopian Ray. Taking away that second stock with a clean back here. Now he's just trying to find his way back down to the ground. Jewel is unrelenting with these What happened to these what? stocks? What? Wait, hold on. I think they both just woke the heck up. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Down uh, throw. That was the most work Ooh. I have seen happen you so far. Perry's minute. coming out from Ray? Absolutely. Trying to keep it going. He's playing a little bit more of an aggressive game. Wants to get that lead and probably play back. Oh, ledge trapping scenario. Gets his way out, jumps over after blocking the bear. Good conversion off of the forward air, has him on the edge. Notice he's playing super patient. They're waiting for Jewel to commit to an option before going in with the neutral air, mm -hmm. which covers so many different options. Neutral get up, jump ledge. Oh, try to get the conversion out of that. Good DI from Jewel, double jumps to escape certain yep. doom. All right, good call there. Yeah. So see, this is where he wants to be, his mid-screen right here. He really does not want to be recovering ledge against Palutena. Very non-committal options from her so she can rack up damage, get a lead, and play back, which is what Jewel wants to try to do if he can. All right. Trying to go for that forward tilt. Very good optimal space. Oh, he gets a double That's arc it. fire That's into it. an up smash. That's the classic. Jewel's bringing it back. That's the classic. Um, so I don't know if that's... Uh, yeah, that, no, that definitely was not true. That's a setup, I think, to catch uh, jump backs. Mm. But if you see right there, yep. oh no, that was he air dodged back. back in, and that is a kill setup. When oh, he thank God like for that. this instant replay technology, just so we can get the Lady, ladies and gentlemen, the small small Devin golf 3, clap for Devin three thousand. He deserves the world right now. <laughs> You know what else he deserves? Your guys' subs. Go ahead and hit that young sub button, Amazon Prime. We know your mom's got it, man. All right, here we go. <laughs> Going straight back. I mean, honestly, I, 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 I understand why How? Ray would want to go back to this stage. It's a good stage for him. It is a good stage. And honestly, that was such an explosive match right there that that could have been decided either way by just a couple of stray hits like that. Uh, Levin Sword, as we've seen, very, very good for killer. Extremely lethal. Um, and... There were only a couple of instances where he'd gotten that and closed the gap, so that really made the difference there. All right, reflect. I, I, using the reflect for its intended purpose there? <laughs> you know, I feel like I see the reflect so little now, um, just with the movement options and the I fact that Palutena plays well. Yes, exactly, and because it's uh, counter 80% of the time, right? Yeah. All right. Got him off stage, still not a great spot here. Does not... He went off stage for that. That was interesting because he did not have uh, any L wind left. So yeah, his recovery is going to be a lot linear. You th you, did you think maybe Jewel was going to try to recover low? That's why Ray went for the ledge? He could have gone low and then air dodged up, which would have been a big mix-up option. But uh, I think sitting back at the ledge and going for the ledge trap was a play there. I'm sorry, that was a really silly combo. You saw him like bouncing off that <laughs> Levin sword that was dropped. Into what happened? You said dropped. Jewel's a man of the people, I'm man. Sorry. <laughs> if you, I'm if sorry. I'm sorry, Jewel. Drop. I didn't mean to do you like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right. I mean, Jewel's still in this fight, though. He's got Ray at 93% on his first stock. All he just needs is one good conversion, maybe a possible arc fire into up smash again. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I like the using of the Levin Sword against his opponent. Smart absolutely. stuff. Nair train into the chase onto the platform. Very dangerous situation. Has to work his way back on stage. Already makes it to the ground, but he only has so much. Oh, oh no. no. You say yourself, I mean, that's a problem with Robin's recovery. Very predictable, very linear mm -hmm. with the L win. Even... Last even with the angles, it's very difficult to make it tricky. Uh, okay, parry, just keep yeah. doing it. Ray, if you I know mean, they're going to do it. Ray's been on point this set with the parry. I think that's like a six parry this set or something like that. I'm just throwing out a number. I've seen it a lot. This is um, sword users in general. You want to threaten the parry because uh, they're very good. It sends it a very low angle. Doesn't quite kill. Oh. Tries to go for the spike but misses it. And oh, no. 
That's heartbreaking. When you have a bad day, man. Like that that is that is Rofsky's. You saw Jewel going off stage trying to get that kill with the L1 because he desperately needed it. He needed some sort of like leverage. So he went off super deep. Didn't expect him to go for an instant recovery. Air dodged the ledge. This poor guy.